thanks Manscaped for sponsoring this video. Today you are about to witness this being done for the very first time. Steaming brisket in beer is unheard of. The big question is, is it good? That I just found the best way to cook the perfect brisket? Well, the results will shock you. It certainly did me. And here we have the true star of the show. It is a beautiful 17 pounds Wagyu brisket marbling score 8 plus. After removing the packaging, you can see how beautiful this thing is. And like every Wagyu piece, not only does it have intramuscular fat, but also external. At the same time, you don't want to cook with all of this external fat. So I try to remove as much as possible. And as you can see, this is just pure 100% fat. Don't let this thing go to waste. Now when I flip it to the opposite side, I also like to remove the fat. I mean, take a look at this shot right here. You see the amount of intramuscular fat it has? Exactly, so get rid of the external fat as much as you want. Because once I was done with the trimming, this is what it looks like. The leanest part of the brisket I left about a quarter inch. The fattiest part I removed almost all of it. And one of the most important things I like to do whenever I get a huge piece of meat like this is to dry brine it. This will allow the salt to penetrate deeply into the meat, making everything extremely flavorful. Now in order to dry brine, you gotta season this thing well. Notice that the middle part where it's thicker I actually added more more salt. Remember, the first thing salt does is extract moisture. Then it becomes a liquidy, salty solution, which the meat reabsorbs like a sponge, allowing it to go all the way deeply into the meat. And in order to do that, you just leave it in the refrigerator for 24 hours. Because once the time was up, take a look. Notice that most of the salt is completely gone. However, you see the fat? That's right, salt does not penetrate fat. And if you get a little bit of oxidation, it's totally normal. Now, like I said, I want to make this brisket extremely flavorful. So I went ahead and added more seasoning. I first started with black pepper, a good amount, followed by granulated garlic and finished with granulated onion. Just like the salt, make sure you season every single edge of the brisket. That is exactly what you want. So that is the first step of getting this brisket ready to go. I am going to be steaming it, but first we gotta put a nice crust. If not, it's not gonna be that nice smoky flavor. That is very important, especially with a Wagyu brisket like this. So I'm gonna put it in the smoker at 275 degrees Fahrenheit for a total of four hours. I should get a nice bark, which is what I love, and at the same time get a nice smoky flavor. And that's perfect because it's gonna allow me time to go ahead and explain to you guys exactly the process of steaming it with beer. And of course, I gotta make an incredible side dish to go along with it. And this is what I'm talking about. We call this in my house Korean potatoes. And it is so easy to make, let me show you how. The first thing to make is the marinade. And for that, I got a bow and throw in a good amount of soy sauce, followed by fish sauce, a little bit of garlic paste, and this extremely special ingredient, manuka honey. To be a little bit more specific, my honey. That's right. After using this honey to do a dry aging experiment, I was so impressed with it, I decided to make my own. It does not taste like any other honey you ever tasted. And I'm only doing a very limited amount batch. So if you want to get your hands on one, make sure you check out the description down below. So after adding manuka honey into the bowl, I threw in some water and mixed it well. You want to combine all of the ingredients together because your sauce is done. Now this is what makes those potatoes so special. Talking about potatoes, these are the ones I'll be using. The first thing to do is to fry them up and get a little color on them. You don't want it too golden brown. Like this is good enough. And by the way, if they start sticking to the pan, just use a spatula to remove it. After you got that golden brown color you like, throw in your sauce. Keep it under medium heat. Because as everything is cooking, it's also infusing that sauce into the potato. Making every single one of them extremely flavorful. You want to cook it until every single one of them is nice and tender. If your sauce starts to thicken up too quickly on you, you can always add a little bit of water. Because once you are done, you should be left with something like this. These are absolutely delicious. And notice that I didn't throw any seasoning on them. That's because the fish sauce has plenty of salt already. For coloring, I just added a little bit of parsley. But now that our side dish is ready, by this time, my brisket was fully smoked. And this is what it looks like once I took it out of the smoker. Notice the mahogany color. That is a sign that we got a nice smoky flavor on this thing. However, it's not fully cooked yet. For that, we're gonna be steaming it in beer. I gotta be honest, one of the hardest things for me to do was to find a container that was big enough. And this is what I came up with. And as you can see, it comes with a steamer right on top. So all I have to do is to throw the beer on the bottom. Talking about beer, this is the one I'm going to be using for today. Now to cook it, here's how it's going to go down. I'm first going to be opening a bunch of beer and throwing them in there. Then I'm going to bring everything to a boil. As it's steaming, I'll close the lid. And I have no idea how long it's going to take. But I'll definitely let you know once we are ready to try it. 
I'll be finishing the brisket on my stove, but you can also add it to your oven. If you choose the oven, set it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, because the only thing left to do now is to steam the brisket in beer. So now I say it is enough talking and it is time to cook it. So let's do it. Now that we got it ready, before trying, I want to take a quick moment to thank today's sponsor, Manscaped. And quite frankly, for helping me keep myself trimmed and ready. Let me show you. This right here is the Performance Package 4.0. Manscaped offers the best grooming and hygiene products and tools for your body, your butt, and your balls. And this box has the best of everything. We start off with the Lone Mower 4.0 Body Trimmer, which has a super smart cordless charging system, advanced skincare technology that reduces nicks and cuts because we really don't need that, and an LED and a cool travel lock feature. Feature. Oh, and don't worry if it's a jungle down there. With the 90 minutes of use with a full charge, you will have plenty of time to handle it. Then you got the Crop Reserver Ball Deodorant for after you shower, and the Crop Reviver Ball Toner Spray with cooling aloe vera to refresh whenever you need it. You also get the Weed Whacker and Nose Hair Trimmer, and two free gifts, the Shed Travel Bag and the Manscaped Anti-Shaving Boxer Brief. I'm telling you, this package 4.0 got you covered. So just go to manscaped.com today and get 20% off and free international shipping, plus two free gifts when you use promo code Guga at checkout. Thank you Manscaped for sponsoring this video, but now let's get right back to it. All right, everybody, here we have our beautiful brisket, Mama. Are you hungry, Mama Z? I'm starving. The brisket looks amazing. So juicy, look at that, it's uh, dripping no, everywhere. it's dripping all over, but like, is that the Korean potato? <laughs> yes, Mama, that's good. I put it on the Dude, corner so you wouldn't see nah, it. Nah, come on, <laughs> come on. You know how much I love that thing? And Mama loves the Korean oh potatoes. Hold on before you try it. This was made with a very special honey. Okay. Hold on, here, look. Ha! What? That's right. <laughs> this guy has honey. My first product launch ever, everybody. The honey, Manuka honey. That's why we have the spoons over here. That's right, Mama. Oh, <laughs> you want to try it? Yes. Check it out. The honey is different. Tell the audience what it tastes like. You know what I'm saying? Right. Go for it. And it has right. a very unique taste. Tell me it what it looks, tastes like. It looks different. It's different. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. Like clear like the regular. Exactly. Honey. It's very different. Try it. Let me know how you like it. Mm. Wow. Isn't it great? <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Yeah. It, it's not like wow. regular honey, everybody. I mm. promise you. It is very unique. I'll tell you that. It's like the honey and then there's something else in it too. <laughs> that's Your good. honey, by the way. Mm. It's all natural. No, mm. uh, Can I have that? Yeah. You want one, Mama? Yes, I want one. Look at Mama wants one. I got you, Mama. I don't only really have one. I have one for each one of your kids. Oh, oh there you go. Oh, one. Burger. Honey for everybody. Me up here. <laughs> <laughs> one for each one of your kids. Your wife, tell her. I'll yeah, send it later. Work. Yeah? I'll yeah. tell the wife later. All right? That's okay. We'll share. My mom's wife, I'll send it to you later. All right? <laughs> I only have three right now. You got them all. <laughs> all right. Okay. Oh, Enough man. because it's all about the food, all not right. about the no, honey. No, 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 no. Right now, it's all about the Korean potato. Okay. Let's try the Korean potato, Mama. All right. Let's see. I know you like this. Mama oh, loves oh it, everybody. God. You know how hard I'm finding not to dip this into the honey already? I know, right? <laughs> man. All right. Let's see. Cheers, Cheers, everybody. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh. Mm. oh, man. These potatoes wow. are stupid good, everybody. I'm telling you right mm. now. And it's easy to make. You saw how to make it. Just make sure that Ooh. you put all of the exact amount in ingredients, okay? And that little hint of the honey on the top. Yeah. Like, man. It's nice. Wow. <laughs> so nice. Okay. All right. Mm. We're doing a lot of try of different things yes, here today. Are you yes. ready for the brisket? The let's start of the, the show. Let's go. <laughs> okay, let's go. I say we go for the one we like the most. Okay. Yeah? We see. Let's All go. right? Here's the thing. This is an experiment brisket. Nothing bad. I, you saw that? You saw what he did, everybody? He immediately went You like, know oh. how excited? <laughs> Look, I saw this 
smoke ring yeah and i got really excited <laughs> and then i say it's an experiment and then he says an experiment <laughs> i go like okay let's tamper those down a little no, bit no 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 it's a good experiment or oh, i hope i have no idea what's about to happen but you tell me exactly how you like it if you don't like it if it's bad good mm. it smells delicious right it smells different it smells different it smells like experiment oh <laughs> all right the fatty part cheers, cheers everybody man. Mm. Mm. Wow. That's a success. Mm. If you are wondering if it's successful, mm. that's a huge success. I'm telling you right now. Mm. Mm. I cannot tell what it is, but it is different. Mm. It has a nice, like, extra flavor on top of it. Yes. But. Very mild. Very mild. I cannot even tell what it is. But another thing that I just noticed, it feels like it cut some of that uh, richness from the fat. Yes. By the way, it's a Wagyu brisket. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So it cuts the fattiness a little bit, and it's a well balanced brisket. I gotta tell you what it is, my mom. Uh, tell me. I smoked the brisket, obviously, mm -hmm. and then after that, I steamed it in beer. Hmm. Beer, black beer. All right. Black beer. Yes, Guinness. Okay. Oh man. That's what I did. Now, guys, that worked Ooh, like yeah. a charm. Yeah. You feel it? You feel it? It's so nice. I got a little bit of fat now and I got the little hint of the beer. Yeah. Here's the biggest surprise for me on this cook. As you guys know, mm -hmm. steam cooks a lot faster than dry heat. So what happens, this brisket was cooked way faster than any other brisket I ever cooked in my life. It took wow, no time so at all. As soon as I put it to steam, believe it or not, mm -hmm. it only took two hours. That's it. So it literally took me six hours to cook this brisket. Wow. And is it good, mama? <laughs> It's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. It is amazing. Wonderful experiment. I highly recommend you giving it a try. I'm telling you right now. Mm -hmm. If you think that yeah. it's a crazy amount of beers no. taste, no, no, no. no it no, doesn't no. taste like beer. No, not at all. It's, uh, it, it, it gives you a different like, flavor, but nothing crazy. Yeah. Okay, Ooh, wow. Oh my God, I tried to swallow too fast. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, uh. these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh. If you do enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.